What's going on guys? I'm glad you guys can join Leo News Episode 2. And today we're going to talk about many things. It's going to be a huge episode. We're first going to cover the sickle and how they constantly had to change the animation for that. There's brand new leaks on animal hats, so stay tuned for that. And for Kanash, when they released the South Sun Dungeon, there currently was an exploit that made lots of gold for players. Uh, currently there's a huge hype on text colors, so we'll be able to provide you all the links for that. So opening two windows, two screens for watching events is so overrated now. Using the overlay just allows you to see in-game the timers. And finally, what do you get when you have three ranges in a party? A brand new easter egg provided by ArenaNet. So stay tuned, we got lots to talk about. First things first, Guild Wars 2 stuff overlay. And honestly, this tool is great if you're just trying to farm uh, world events or just dragon chest in general to get that precursor that you always wanted. And generally, I'm just going to sum it up. What it is, is just a tool, an API tool that just runs on the dragon or world event timers. And and it just goes over your Guild Wars 2 window. It's not linked to your account at all. So your account is protected. This is provided by Wintree Snowman. You can find him on Reddit or if he has a home website, go to it. I'm going to provide all the links down low. So just use this overlay. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. On to the second news, which is the Kanash Dungeon Exploit. So what I really like about this channel and this whole series is I'm not going to hold any facts back and I'm just going to tell you guys whatever I find. So what I found was the Kanash Exploit, which was currently pretty popular when the dungeon first came out during roughly around last week and when this dungeon first came out it's a fairly easy dungeon all you have to do is just bring Kanash into the mines and boom easy but the whole exploit was based on the story mode and it was actually repeatable each reward was given and you have a hundred percent of getting bag of coin which gives you exactly one gold the exploit that comes into play is players would take advantage of this and they would constantly making new characters and delete the old ones and just keep bringing him to South Sun Cove, rerun that dungeon and an easy one gold. Problem is you're low level so you can constantly farm at any level during this release and the devs found out and they patched it right away. Well it took some time, people probably farmed for like a good seven hours. I only just farmed to show you guys how easy of like money you can make and you roughly made about seven to eight gold an hour give or take and that's pretty good for being any level. Now I don't advocate exploits, I only introduce it into the news when it's already patched so you guys can know what's going on and why the market is just fluctuating probably because of the exploits and yeah with that in mind <laughs> the next big thing we're going to cover is the animal heads it looks so adorable and cuddly you get all kinds of choices we can see here you get a quaggan a panda i think that's some kind of tiger another pink quaggan for all you females you know like to show your feminine side uh the one with the spots i'm not too sure what it is it looks like a lynx don't quote me on that or a cat could be <laughs> <laughs> and the last one's finally a frog. It looks like a frog. It's not green. Anyhow, <laughs> I really like the idea of the concept of the animal hats. It really brings up the creativity and what you can actually customize a character and just making the town outfit just looking totally ridiculous. Now, there has been leaks. We are able to see school uniforms. And yeah, if, if you guys ever had fantasies of just making a character look like they're just fresh out of school and has its own uniform, then yeah, that's, that's probably a good outfit and the next thing is the dragon helmet don't get me wrong this is awesome i don't i hope hopefully don't jinx it hopefully it's not gonna be a town gear because i would be pretty pissed imagine just rocking this gear just going on dragonic on everyone <laughs> dragon slayer <laughs> all right i'm getting off topic and swimsuits now this has been leaked i don't have pictures to provide because the shaman wasn't able to get a leak uh 3d model but what i'm able to show you is previews from npc models i'm not too sure if they're gonna release this but we get some kind of idea how the swimsuit's gonna look on our characters have you been wondering why the carcass shell price has been fluctuating over the past week well it's because arena net released the patch notes saying that during the june 4th patch uh, they're gonna release some special new armor and weapons that can be purchased by carcass shell and because of this accidental leak on their part they actually affected the economy because of this and they right away realized and they changed the patch notes taking that part out and as you can see it, it just skyrocketed to 4 
for silver and it's slowly going down because the anticipation and the people invest enough and they're just stocking up on that carcass shells. So remember, stock up on that carcass shells because on June 4th, it's going to be a new currency to buy those. Now, this is probably my favorite news I'm going to bring you guys. Like, have you guys ever been wondering how people change their color text in game? Well, essentially, I'm just going to provide you four different in game links. And what you can do is you're just going to put it in your guild chat or your chat box and just just do what I do. Just delete the following words right after the bracket and change it to whatever you want. And there's going to be four links. Each one of them have their own corresponding color. So just have fun with it. It's it's pretty fun to play around. Like in green, I would just say Hulk smash or <laughs> some stupid shit like that. Now you may have been noticing the rate of uh, salvaging of globs of ectoplasm being a little ridiculous where you would only get one or two from using black line salvage kits or master salvage kits. And the devs knew this was a little bug. So they did give compensation for the past week. If you did use a black line salvage kit, they did refund you with the full 25 charge salvage kit. Now I gotta say, this is what makes ArenaNet a very good company because they really take in like the consideration for the customers and they accept their mistake if it is their fault. And no bullshit covering up saying like, oh, it's just a mistake, no compensation. When you do know that black line salvage kit does cost money. So this is a really good move on ArenaNet's part. As for the consortium harvesting sickle, they changed the animation three times. The first being the hole animation where would they would take the sickle and you would smash it into the ground like a hole. A hole. <laughs> and the second being is it's just a regular sickle animation where you would go on your knees and you would just um, harvest the plant. But I didn't get the footage because I didn't know they were going to change it yet again. So just imagine going on your knees with all the water animation. And the final being is where you're going to take the sickle and you're going to slash upwards. And they kind of stole the animation where you can see all the leaves falling before the water spurting instead of both of those animation going together simultaneously. I do like the third animation so gotta give thumbs up for reading it. And finally the last news I'm going to cover as of this week is going to be the Lunar Wolf and this is currently an easter egg in Guild Wars 2 and this is pretty sweet. And how you're going to come to achieve this is you're going to need three rangers or four or a full party whatever <laughs> floats your boat and you're just going to equip a warhorn and use the skill Call of the Wild at the same time. And when you actually precision this at the same time this wolf is just going to appear with all this mist and it's it's great just just try it yourself it's pretty funny and yeah he just follows the crowd his hp is going to slowly go down so just regen him he accepts healing so yeah shout out to tiger mafia and beer runner they're pretty awesome to cooperate with me and allow me to record them and that's a wrap up for leo news episode two yeah so just give me a comment um you know criticism is always accepted i'm fairly new to this yeah give me a thumbs up if you guys like this if you guys don't, I can discontinue this show. But yeah, I had fun making this and have a great day, guys. Leo Guild Wars, over and out.